In this tutorial, I want to show you how to do the ink transition I did on my previous New Mexico travel video. So stay tuned. I'm just a normal person with no video editing background who wanted to start making YouTube videos and maybe cool transitions and effects. I don't really plan on being a professional video editor, so I was looking for a free, easy to learn video editing software. Luckily, I stumbled on Shotcut, a free open source video editing program that can do many of the tricks you can do on more enterprise video editors like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, but with a much simpler and leaner interface, thus dramatically shortening the learning curve. It just takes using your imagination. So let's learn together. If you haven't seen my last travel vlog to Ruidoso, New Mexico, click the link on the top right hand corner or find the link in the description below. So first things first, this tutorial will be done on Shotcut version 21 Point zero five point one eight. This transition is actually really easy, much easier than on other video editing tools. All you need are two components, the videos you want to transition and an ink bleed video you can download anywhere. I'll also give you instructions on how you can download a few ink bleed clips I've already created at the end of this tutorial. Here's an example. You'll need to find a grayscale video of basically ink bleeding into a canvas or a piece of paper. In this example, I'm going to use a clip called Ink Group 2. Now that we have the transition file, we're going to need to use videos. I will be using these two. Here's the first one. And here's the second one. I've loaded the two videos on Shotcuts playlist. From there, I'm going to drag both files on the timeline. No need to create a separate track. They'll both be on the same track. Once they're both on the timeline, all you need to do is drag the second clip into the first clip to create an overlap, just like this. The box with an X is your overlap, and that's where your transition is going to happen. If you select the overlap, and click the Properties tab, you'll be sent to the Transition dialog box. In the Video section, you'll need to click the drop-down window and scroll all the way down to Custom. Once selected, a new dialog box opens so you can choose your custom transition file which in this example will be Ink Group 2. And click Open. Now your transition file has just been loaded. And so let's test it out. The last step in this whole process is you need to make sure you go back to the Invert Wipe checkbox and check it. Otherwise, for some reason, the transition starts backwards. So now this is what the transition will look like. If the transition happens too fast, all you have to do is select the transition file again, or the overlap, and just stretch it, just drag it. And that's pretty much it. You can click the overlapping box to stretch or shorten the transition to, to fit however long or short you want the transition to be. So 
So I'm going to render this so that you see what the final video looks like. So here's the final video. And that's how you do the ink bleed transition or just the ink transition. As I mentioned earlier, I've already created a few ink transition files you can play around with. If you want a copy of these ink transitions, you know the drill. First, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Then you'll need to like this video. Finally, you'll need to comment, I want your ink transitions. And that's it. I'll reach out to you to get your email address, then I'll email them to you. Sorry I haven't made a tutorial recently because I've been traveling, but thank you for being patient with me. Let me know if there are other tutorials you'd like to see on the comment section, and check out my travel videos too if you haven't had a chance. In any case, I hope you like this short tutorial and I'll see you next time. I just wanted to remind you that if you haven't yet, go visit my channel. I'm sure you'll find tons of shortcut related videos. And don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I drop a new shortcut related tutorial. Every video on my channel was done on shortcut. So, aside from examples of what Shotcut can do, you can also visit my playlist of tips and tutorials, all geared toward the beginner. Visit my Shotcut Tips and Tricks playlist and learn all the tips and tricks I've learned during my journey toward video editing. So once again, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.